But I think I got it. I it's, figured it out. You, where, you where did. You you're at? doing. You're doing you're good. Like, you're no, like I'm. Off in the stratosphere. I was. I was. <laughs> I was looking at how. Honestly, this is this you is the just way. You took off. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I was listening to everything you were saying. Whatever. I honestly was. I could repeat it back to you verbatim. Oh yeah. But but my brain was <laughs> looking at totally this is off. this is this is how my little like squirrel brain works. Um. I was looking over at my bike sitting there with the helmet down on the ground beside it, and I'm like, you know, if I flipped it around so the J Street was showing, that'd be a pretty freaking cool picture. Again. Yeah, no wreck. Really? None. That's good. None. Um, More going... confidence for sure. Yeah, you're still tense. Yes, I am. Um, you need to get way used, way, way better at just kind of touching the handlebars, not gripping them. I will say away. though, I was getting there. Mm -hmm. On the, that last bit, I started to feel a little more comfortable and it takes... was feeling like kind of a flow and feeling good and yeah that won't that's that's it's honestly repetitions what's yeah gonna make i just you need to keep doing that that loop is a pretty good one because it's got a lot of stop signs it is there's actually other streets off of it that if i wanted to change it up a little bit i could but i think that was the way that i know that has the most stop signs okay and i wanted to practice stop signs um and you did you mm -hmm. did today I did. And you figured out how to use your friction zone to hold you on a hill without giving it any gas and I without did. using your brake. That was good. Um, one thing, one critique. Um, you need to be careful about what you're doing with your feet when you come to a stop. Yes. I don't know um, what to do with them. So, so a good way to think about it is, you know, you're right. And before I leave, I'll show you. I'll, okay. I'll just ride down your driveway and show you. Okay. I'll, I'll go down, turn around, come back up and show you coming in. Okay. Um, but essentially, what you want to think about is, as you're slowing down, um, and you're and you need to get before we get to that, you need to think about slowing down, um, going closer to where you need to stop before you actually start your slowdown. I'm slowing down too. You're early. slowing down way too early, and and I only say that because people in those, I'm pointing at a car, uh. people in cages. <laughs> They don't pay any freaking attention to us already and we're hard to see yeah. from behind especially if there's a car in front of you because your brake light blends in with the brake light of that car yeah. and they will hit you from behind when you're doing the downshifting i guess you are using brakes because your brake light is coming on in a car if you're downshifting well, you're not really hitting the brakes let me let me state and it that's differently. A, that's what i, I wonder when too. i downshift when i'm engine braking yeah I'm not using my brakes, so yeah. my brake lights aren't coming on. Yeah, that's what I was... Um, now, if I'm pulling up to something that's a stop, yeah, I will downshift to get the majority of my braking done with the motor yeah. as I'm going down from like 5th to 4th to 3rd to 2nd, yeah. but I'll also just kind of touch the rear brake just enough so, so the brake know. light's on and yeah, they know that's what that I, I'm slowing down. I was down. thinking about that while you were behind me. I could hear you matching my speed, but I know that you already were. Yeah. And I was wondering when I'm in a car, if I don't hit the brakes, I don't have brakes. So if you're downshifting in a car, mm -hmm. it'll yeah, and, feel and, slow without. And like what I'd say is I hit, the, I let, the, I'm looking in my rear view mirror as I'm slowing down and I'm paying attention to the person behind me. Yeah, if there were like cars know, behind us that freaked me out at one point. If they seem <laughs> to know that I'm, that I'm slowing down, then I don't necessarily do that. Yeah. But for sure, once I'm hitting second gear yeah. in my downshift as I'm approaching like a stop sign or stoplight, I'm doing something to activate the brake light. Okay. I'm not necessarily using the brake to slow the bike down. I think down. I was pulling the brake down. You were. I was, you, I was, were you were I touching was, it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was touching it. Yeah. Um, now, when it comes to your feet, as you're stopping, 
What you want to do, ideally, what you want to do is, as the bike stops completely, both feet come down and hit the ground at the same time, and they, they stay where they are. And hit. I'm not walking them. You're, you're walking them as you slow down, Yeah. which means you can slow down faster. Okay. You know what I mean? You want to get to the stop before you put your feet down, because the it. worst thing you can do is, as you do it, I'm watching you. As you put your feet down and you're doing this, the bike's doing this. Oh yeah, I don't and want that. And it gets cattywampus on you, and all of a sudden, you're not going to be able to hold that bike up. No, and that's with a leg. probably why in the past I've like been like, oh, I did. My handlebars were straight. Everything was straight, and I still fell over. And, I, and that makes more sense as to why that's happened. I know. I know. Mentally, we're like, yeah. oh, if I put my feet down, I can, I can walk it to a stop. But that's yeah. one of the worst things you can do. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, the the same thing with taking off. When you take off. I'm getting as better soon, about you that. You are, I'm but better. as soon as you as soon as you start moving, the only time you really still do it is in turns. When you're going straight and you launch, you immediately both feet are yeah. up and they're on the peg. Pay attention when you're out driving around. Watch other bikers when they pull up or motorcyclists when they pull up to a stoplight or stop sign. Yeah. I guarantee you, more than eighty percent do what you're doing right now. I have watched they, them they do, do it. Do, 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 I totally come up. have watched. And, I do watch people, and, and I do see that. And you know, it, it's so it is a habit that people have, and it's not a good habit. That's why I mention it to you now. While we're going slow, you know, yeah, it's a good thing for you to unlearn instead of getting it yeah. as a habit. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. In my in my class, by the way. Oh, they'll get you for I'd, that shit. No, no, no. In the class, I passed it, and I stayed in the little square, and I did all the things for the class. Like I, I could do it yeah. then, but during that weekend period, I dropped the bike a few times mm -hmm. doing that, like stopping and putting one foot down and not putting the other foot down and just going boop. Yep. I mean, and they were they would like be like, oh my god, and I'm like, teach me how to pick the bike up. They're like, it's the class, we can't, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, you pick it up and you injure yourself in the class, we're screwed. But they were very patient, and um, but it was it, it. That's what it was, and so that I think is why I started doing that a little bit more, having had that experience um, in the class. Yeah. But I think I got it. I it's, figured it out. You, where, you where did. You you're doing. You're doing you're like, good. You're no, like I'm. Off in the strategy. I was. I was. I was <laughs> looking at how. Honestly, this is this you is the just way. You took off. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I was listening to everything you were saying. Whatever. I honestly was. I could repeat it back to you verbatim. Oh yeah. But but my brain was <laughs> looking at totally this is off. this is this is how my little like squirrel brain works. Um. I was looking over at my bike sitting there with the helmet down on the ground beside it, and I'm like, you know, if I flipped it around so that J Street was showing, that'd be a pretty freaking cool picture. Of, oh my you know, God. with the We're two bikes there, and and I'm listening to her, but I'm still, I'm like, that would, be, that would be, that would be a cool. Bike. It wasn't the cosmetics. It's like that would be a really cool Instagram shot right there, is to have the helmet turned around, and. And this angle right here, maybe down this on the ground. This will be edited out. No, it will not. I will keep it in there. I will keep this in there. I freely, I own my shit. I freely, I freely admit it. Um, but no, you were doing good today. You really were. You're doing way better. Um, I would like, here's what I would like. And I don't know what your schedule is going to be. Mm -hmm. I would like for you, because I honestly think you can. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to go do what we did today mm -hmm. a couple of times during the week. Okay. Get a little more comfortable because when you get back from your trip next weekend, the next time we get together, mm -hmm. I want to go out of the neighborhood and down to the, down to the old folks stuff. Yeah, I I knew I didn't even have to look at her. I knew I was going to be getting the side eyed no, big, I'll be good. big I'll eyeballs. Be good. I knew I was going to be getting this look. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll be good. I want, I, no, I want I'm actually very excited. I want I'm you to get up to third gear. I've been in third gear. You shouldn't be in third gear at 25 <laughs> miles an hour. If you are, that that and that's something I wanted to mention to you too. Um, we I didn't I didn't bring it up when we were debriefing the last lesson when you wrecked. Um, one of the reasons you felt like you were going to stall is because you were in second gear when you should have been in first. Ah, uh, okay. You, I'm you, staying too high. You you if you're going if you're you need to be in first coming out of here. And once you get up to like, I'm shifting to second when I hit 25. Okay. And if I, if You're I. You're in first 25? Oh, I can take first to 40 on that really? motorcycle. Well, yeah. what about, I don't know that. I don't know. If you, that. If, it starts if, to feel like it's winding. If you want me to give her a little love, I'll 
I'll run her down the street real quick and see how fast she'll okay. go in first gear. <laughs> okay. Because I, 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 yeah. That, feels that bike, hard. one thing you've got to understand is my bike redlines around 6,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. I think that bike probably redlines around 9,500. So, so it, it winds a lot higher. It just winds higher. It will go higher, but it means you can stay in a gear longer. Yeah, that's so. Okay, so in comparison to a car, mm -hmm. first gear in a car is just to get started. Well, you don't just let me finish. Yeah, okay. So you don't really do a lot in first gear. Mm -hmm. You ride in second gear if you're going to go slow. Mm -hmm. But you really ride in first gear. And mm -hmm. so in my head, first gear gets you started, and then you jump right into second gear on a bike, but that's not the case. Well, so so the way I like to think about it is, and, and I've always, I had a I had a manual drive car too for years. Yeah. Um, I always shift off RPM, Yeah. not off speed. Well, I, try, I, I shift off how it feels, but first gear has always been, like I'm shifting into second as I'm going around a curve in a car. Yeah, and I- But on the, and on the bike, that's what my, I've been, my tendency to want to do is the same thing, but that's not necessary is no, what you're telling me. That's where I'm, I'm in my head, like, it's not. Okay, that makes sense. And um, Good and if know. you if you are trying to like when you're doing the U turns in the cul de sacs, mm -hmm. you should I'm be in not first shift, gear. No, I'm not shifting in that. No, I am. In you first should gear. be in shirt. You should be in first gear because because if you're in second when you're trying to do that, it is going to bog down on you. It's going to feel like it's stalling, and then you're going to give it gas like you did like that I did day, the other day, and and it's going to pull away. Well, that from makes you. a lot of sense because I didn't. I never thought about riding in first gear. I always thought you got started, shifted, and rode most. Rode yeah, I mean, when I to put things in perspective, when I pull into yeah. my neighborhood, yeah, I'll dump down to first gear when I make that turn on that little street before I go yeah. and hit the big street. I'm in first gear from there all the way to my house, and I'm still doing 25 miles. Wow. Hour, okay. 25, 26. Okay. I mean, that bike will do 40 in first. Okay. Before I really have to shift it. Well, that. Thank you. But it's all about, I didn't know that. it's all about, you know, you, you learn to drive. I mean, that drive, is a difference. You learn, but a manual transmission car, you can do the same thing with. Most people shift earlier in a manual transmission car because it saves gas. Oh, I the just higher think. your, the higher your engine's revving, the more gas you're going to burn. Yeah. And you're really not getting any more torque out of it. Yeah. So you tend to shift a little sooner. Yeah. But like if I was, if I pulled up to a stoplight in a manual transmission car and someone wanted to go. I'm gonna run first until it redlines, and then I'm hitting second. Yeah. You, you know, oh, I'm not yeah. just gonna oh, start that out. I will. Do. And that's. Yeah. And, but you see, it's the same yeah. principle even when you're riding around. Yeah, but would just. But that's just how I drive a manual, and so, or, yeah. or at least the one I had. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a little different on a bike. It's yeah. a lot lighter. Yeah. The the weight to torque yeah, ratio obviously. is ridiculously different on yeah. these than it is on that. I was feeling good though. Yeah, I was you, you were looking good. I was feeling, I was feeling very, I was kind of feeling the, you know, I was like, kind of yeah, the, yeah. That one, that's a real thing. That, right? that is a real thing. Do, 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 do. I, I'm pretty sure at some point while I was recording and we were riding around, I was like, do, 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 <laughs> see, do, do. when you're doing it and you're in your head, yeah. you go, woo, do, 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 do. and that's, but yeah, I, mean, I was feeling it. it was nice. You were you were doing really well. I did. I felt good today. So I think I, I will it. call my buddies and see if they'll take a tootle with me around the neighborhood. The thing to consider when you're doing that during the week is what time of day you're doing it. Because yeah, I can imagine traffic. I can imagine traffic gets a little hectic in this neighborhood yeah. as you get around rush hour. Yeah, people coming from work and yeah. all of that good stuff. But, I mean you're you're crushing it. I'm feeling great. And all right. In no time, man, in no time. We're gonna be I gotta get the feel of stuff and. Oh, that's something I wanted to mention to you. You need to get really acutely aware. And I don't know when you're riding, put your hands out and show me how your hands are when you're just going down the road, 25 mm -hmm. miles an hour. You're not stopping, you're not. So you've got your hands wrapped around the grips. Yeah, like that. Like, and then, not like that, because yeah, I, I mean, learned. But that you've got your hands wrapped around the grips. How should they be? Like this? I have my, fa I have my hands on the clutch. Okay, so you, you're covering the, that's what we I call am. covering the clutch, right? I am you're doing covering that. the, all I'm telling you is you need to get the, the single big, because I, I was sitting there as we were riding back here. I'm like, she's looking very confident. She's looking comfortable. She's doing everything she's supposed to do. And I'm pretty certain if someone threw a ball out in the street in front of her right now, she'd either stall the bike or she'd hit it. Because if some emergency happened, you wouldn't, you I wouldn't didn't feel react. Like that. You didn't, you yeah. think you would grab the clutch as you pull in the brake? I, I felt like I was aware of, if anything, I would swerve around it. But I felt like 
I, I didn't I didn't feel worried about that. Okay. Because all like, I'm saying all I'm saying not that is I wasn't, you've gotta, not that I wasn't expecting it, but I felt like in at the speed I was at, I felt like I had control of what I was doing because I was very mindful. Now, if I were in traffic, I don't do this without being mindful. Yeah. This isn't second nature, so I'm thinking yeah, about it. I get so that. Um, but while I'm thinking about it, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Well, and, not, all I'm all I'm saying is you need to get it needs to be it needs like, to be second nature. It needs to be just like in a car. Yeah. If you if all of a sudden you need to slam on your brakes and you had a manual transmission, I guarantee you you would do I this. I would do that. Both feet would go out. 100%. And, and what you have to translate is this has to now become this. Yeah, we did that in the class. It's it's got to become stop. it's got to yeah. become this where yeah, you're pulling both in cuz if you that. stop without yeah, pulling in the that. clutch, you're going to stall the bike. Yeah. Best case. Yeah, best Worst case, case the solid. bike's going to get funky on you and yeah. you know but i i get that and that that i do on that part of it i do get because like you said if it's i'm i'm familiar i'm getting more comfortable so no you yeah. are i'm making I'm making progress and feeling a little more the speed i'm at and the in the conditions that we're riding i'm feeling pretty good yeah, we'll do more we will come back we're gonna do more we will thank you for um, um for following us the comments you want to say something to, about the comments? You got comments on your first video. I did. It was very cool. A lot of encouragement. A lot of a lot of encouragement. And thank you so much. And I feel like I wasn't like the butt of jokes or anything. That I was like, nah, I everybody was. Everybody. You know, what is okay? What is a whiskey throttle? Somebody like two or three people were like, oh, it's that old whiskey throttle. And I was like, what is so, that? But it 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 basically means you were you were. I, can, I, you were I was doing the, that. You were jerking the throttle instead of being controlled with it. Yeah. So it's kind of like it stems, I think, if if I'm wrong, drop it in the comments, but I believe it stems its way back to you have a couple shots at the bar, you're not going to be as good with your, you're not going to be as kind with uh, your throttle, you're going to be a little snappier with it. Yeah. And uh, and it causes what you saw. I think, so, and I, I did a little know. bit of that today, but I think I was feeling, the first loop I was a little bit apprehensive. You and are. then the second one, I was feeling pretty good. Yeah. Well, the first one you were knocking, you were still knocking off the, yeah, the memories of what good. happened the last time. <laughs> this, the second time, it's like, oh, I know I can do that. Yeah. So you did it. I can. You did good. You All did right. Good. Well, thank you guys. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, do me a favor. You all do us a favor. Do her a favor. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you, and it does help the channel. And always, right? Ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>